So here we have seen the variations, how the variations they inherit from one generation to another generation. The second part is that evolution. So we learned about heredity. Now let us see the evolution. Both are linked together. So evolution means formation of a new species, which is a very gradual process. But how the new species is evolved from the pre-existing species? A new species comes from the pre-existing one by accumulation of so many variations. And not only that, there are some other factors which also leads to the formation of new species. So let us see what are those factors. Basically, the basic idea of evolution is explained with an illustration here that is taking an example of some beetles and their colors. Let us see that what is that illustration. Here there are some set of beetles. In a jungle, in a forest, there are some red color beetles. So these are all red color beetles. They are in the forest. That is, they are in the leaves. They are feeding on the leaves of the bushes. So as they are red in color, the bushes are green in color, which are quite contrast. They are easily identified by the crow, which eat the beetles. Crows can easily identify the red color beetles because they are contrast and opposite color to the leaves. So by that, the crows, they pick and eat the red color beetles. Suddenly, what happened is that in the red color beetle population, one variation has occurred. One of the beetle, it has got green color. That is a variation. And this variation, this change, it has happened through the genes. So by that it can pass this variation to its progeny. The green color can be passed to the next generations. So this is the variation. Now what happened? Because of this green color, as the green color blends with the leaves of which are in green color, so the green beetle is not being eaten by the crows. Crow cannot identify the green beetle because the leaves are green. Camouflage takes place. That means blending of its color with its surroundings. So only the red beetles are identified. Green beetles are not identified by the crows. So the green beetle population is increasing because crows are not being eaten. Crows are not eating the beetles. So beetles are not being eaten by the crows. Why the green beetles are not being eaten by the crows? Because the green beetles are not identified as they are in green in color. So crows are identifying red. So gradually the population of red beetles is decreased and green beetles increased. You can see that here the green color is an advantageous variation for the beetle population. So by the generations and generations on you can see the green beetle population is more, red beetle population is less. So the variation, the green color, it fetched the organism. So this is the situation one. Now let us see the another situation. Now let us see the second situation. Here again the same background that is the forest. There are a group of beetles which are red in color. They are being eaten by the crows. Red is a contrast color. So by that the crows can easily pick up the beetles. So suddenly there is a variation. There a beetle developed a blue color. In the first situation we have seen a green color. Here the variation is blue color. So the blue color beetles, that is a variation which it can pass to the progeny. The blue color beetle is also producing blue color beetles. But the crows, they can identify the blue color better than the red color. So the red beetle population is more. The crows are identifying blue color. So the blue population is less. So here the variation is not advantageous in this case, in the second situation. Now suddenly what happened? An elephant stepped on these beetles. This is the elephant foot. So the elephant stepped and all the beetles died except a few, which are only blue. Only a few blue beetles, they survived. Rest of the beetles died. So only these four blue beetles. So what happens? The blue beetles, they continue their progeny. After generations and generations, only the, mostly the new generations will be blue. 
so it became a very important character of the beetle that is blue color actually it started as a very rare variation here rare all are red only one is blue rare variation but here the total group is blue the whole generations are blue means a sim single rare variation can become a common characteristic of an organism that we can understand from this situation now let us see the differences between the two situations in the first situation whatever the variation is has occurred in this beetle population that variation it it is an advantageous variation advantage for the green beetle population to grow you can say it is an adaptation blending with surroundings to survive is an adaptation it led to the survival of the green beetle population you call it as natural selection natural selection so the variations that help that are helpful for the survival of the organism that is called as natural selection so this is one way how the evolution takes place that means how the variations that bring out differences here in the populations in the second situation here the variation is not advantageous it is not helpful for the survival of the beetle the blue color is not at all helpful for the survival of the beetle but even then the blue color beetles are evolved that means even though the variations are not helpful even though the variations are not adaptations not helpful for adaptation even then in some cases the variations are passed that means even though they are not helpful it doesn't mean that only the helpful variations they pass so evolution takes place with adaptation without adaptation also that we can observe it here so this is the basic idea of genetic drift in this case it is accidental here the elephant it stamped on the beetles that's why the blue beetle survived the population of the beetle is very small that's why when the elephant stamps it all the other color beetles died and blue beetles existed accidental so such kind of accidents when the populations are small it may bring the evolution with the variations which are not helpful also so here the variation is useful variation here the evolution process goes on here without any useful variation without any adaptations also we can observe that evolution so we see from this example we take one more situation so whatever the red color beetles are there these beetles are growing on the bush bushes suddenly the bush has got some disease so because of the disease the leaves are becoming very small the leaves are eaten by some other insect or the bush has got some infection so whether there is no food in the leaves so beetles they grow in their size number of beetles are more bushes are less food is less so the beetles they reduce in their size the beetle size is reduced small can you consider this as a variation due to the insufficiency of the food the organism reduces in its size do you think it is a variation so can this variation we cannot say it is a variation because it is not variation but do this uh, will this change reflects in the next generations no so it will not happen because if the leaves grow properly after the certain time after the disease period the disease period of the plant is completed again the leaves are growing well then the beetles eat on that and they grow in size so the change the variation must means the variation means it should be the change should happen in the genetic material of the organism in the germ cells of the organism unless until the dna is not changed the genes are not changed the change is not reflected in the next generations this was tested so inheritance means there must be change in the genetic material the genes must be changed according regarding that character then only it is possible otherwise it is not possible so to test that several scientists conducted experiments 
see they have taken a mice they cut the tail of the tail of the mice so the next generation mice it is born with tail even though the tail is cut so likewise so many generations they cut the tail of the mice but even then generation of the generation the new generations they are born with tails why why it is like that because cutting of tail is a physical one it does not make any change in the genes of the rat it is not a variation even though 100 times you in 100 generations you get the tail of the mother or you will not get the tailless mice all the mice are born with tail means physically if a person accidentally loses a hand or leg in an accident it doesn't mean that his children will be born without hand or leg it is not inherited the inheritance ha happens only if there is any change in the genetic material only if the changes are variations that means changes in the genes that is only reflected in the progenies coming up generations if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus